What's happening, guys and gals? Welcome back to Steep, our very casual snowboarding, falling <laughs> series, whatever you want to call it. So, as you can see, I'm a level 8 now. Um, I did two live streams, or one live stream that lasted like two hours, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we did another one together. Or and not. I can't remember. I did a bunch of stuff where I was just kind of chilling. We went back um, to our old border. Because he's fun. Oh yeah, that guy. And I actually got a cool mask that I have now. Because oh my gosh, this is, is dead, that a skull dead man mask? walking. Dead man walking. Wow. <laughs> so I want to show you guys this really cool area I found. It's gonna take us about mm, five minutes to board down there, but first we have to jump off a major cliff. So if we crash, we crash. Yeah, and we've actually, I think we've unlocked some stuff. So last time we unlocked a lot. So. Yep. Oh, I nailed it! <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna nail that. That's awesome. Awesome. Nope, he's not. Nice. He's not getting up there. I like your blue outfit. It looks really cool. So where we are right now is a place that you would have to be using your squirrel suit. So <laughs> we're we're going where no border Squirrels. normally goes. Um, earlier today when I found this spot, a bunch of people were following me. <laughs> or at least trying to. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of funny to see that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I know. You were telling me that first when you started going off-road or off-trail, people were, like, typing, you know, Why are you doing this? That's not a trail. And then it's like... Then they started following you later. They tried to, but they couldn't. Like, a lot of guys would crash and things like that. It was a funny it's thing. It's pretty ever. funny. I mean, they wouldn't make this mountain free roam if, if they didn't want you to explore and just hang out. And plus, they even have a... <laughs> Oh, you know, they even have a, um, what do you call, like, a little free rider. achievement yeah. yeah, for free riding and totally. for exploration. Yep. So they wouldn't have it if they didn't expect you to do it. And I kind of like that. It makes it like it's a real mountain. It's really cool. Totally. Um, makes me want to go uh, s snowboarding or skiing in France or something. That's ah. really awesome. Oop. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. No, 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 you gotta survive this, because if you don't, if you don't make it past this part, then you can't go down the mountain. Yeah. <sighs> He's still alive! Let's the mountains. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's having a hard time getting up. <laughs> He's he back into it already. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> it doesn't take much. <laughs> Nothing can get that guy down. Well, oh. a mountain can. I love that, like, I don't know. There we go, see? Like, Oh, Yay! <laughs> we landed! Woohoohoo! Wee! So we actually have snow outside. I know, it's right so cool. Now. I'm really happy about that. I'm very happy that there's snow. Yeah, I actually woke Luke up this morning and let him know, because um, he really loves snow. Ah, it's painful. Ugh. Luke always waits for snow. Actually, last year we didn't have any snow where we are nope, right here. Nope, not at Christmas time. It didn't yeah. snow until it didn't around snow my birthday. Like February, yeah, yep. exactly. And then we had a lot of snow, and we were like, "Why couldn't this have happened in?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping maybe, maybe in the future, you know, we'll just keep praying for snow, and then it will just maybe we'll have more and more snow here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so hoping it's that we'll supposed have more. to. Last year was a weird year. Yeah, I'm hoping because last time I drove through Pennsylvania was 2005, and there was so much snow here, it was like crazy. Mm -hmm. So. You know. This is the spot I wanted to show people. There's tons of places you can, like, trick and do stuff. You just have to avoid the rocks, but this is a really awesome place. Like, lots of points you can get for, like, tricking off things. Yeah, and actually it'll be better on your breathing and stuff once it starts snowing, because you won't smell the crops anymore. Nope, won't smell Which the crops really or nice. the, uh, what do they call it? The pollen and the mm -hmm. quarry and everything. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a quarry here. Oh. <laughs> He's just saying how oh nice it was. Oh my gosh! Our time and our world for the taking. Yeah. <laughs> Blaze our time and our world. Man, so yeah, you don't you don't see line. many people here, but now that I'm showing this, people are gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna come here now. This is gonna be my hangout spot. It's like, oh, whatever. Uh. Like, I, I'm just showing it off. Uh, we're gonna do some actual awesome. missions. You and... found a really cool spot. Yeah. <gasps> that was awesome. You landed that. 582 points. Yeah, it's cool that you can get points even if you're not on a trail. 
I, I, this actually reminds me of when I first started skiing um, in fifth grade. We used to go to the ski. And we had to go to Wisconsin because mm. um, I, I lived in Illinois, really northern Illinois. So Wisconsin was only like 40 minutes away from our town. So it was re- we were really close to Wisconsin. I cannot remember what mount. It wasn't, you know, it was like an artificial hill with artificial snow and everything. But, you know, with ski lifts and everything. But um, I remember I went on the bunny hill. I learned how to ski, and then I was like, I want to go on that mountain, and it had a black diamond on it, <laughs> and people were like, oh. oh, you can't go on that yet, and I was like, you know me, I'm really determined, mm-hmm. so I went on the hill, but I went really slowly, and then I kind of lost control, and then I like went extremely quickly down the hill, and I was like basically just trying to stop myself the entire time down, and then I made it, I made it to the bottom, and I was like, I'm alive, <laughs> And then, like, and I just got on a ski lift, and it was fun. And then that's basically how I taught myself to ski, was I went on one bunny hill, and then I went up Black Diamond. I would not recommend that, like, it's, but I thought it was it was fun. I, so this reminds me of me, like, just trying crazy stuff. But All right, now, here comes the hard part. Now we have to, oh, I already messed up. There's all these rocks here. Yeah. Ooh. You know the scariest thing about skiing for me is actually this, this the lift ski lift the ski lift yeah because there are no seat belts on it i always thought i was gonna fall off (laughs) oh yeah yeah i was like i'm the only one here what am i worried about yeah you know regardless of what Ah. your one family member says i do remember a picture of him uh falling off the ski lift and having a broken leg with his legs oh yeah yeah you did do that yeah so Yeah, just make sure you guys stay on the ski lift. If you ever go skiing for school, just do not. But yeah, I'm, I'm totally botching this, but this is a fun place to hang out. Like, if you're trying to build up lots of points and practice, like, doing jumps and flips and all kinds of stuff, this is the place where I go. You just have to remember to take your board uh, instead of using your wingsuit. I, I think I tried snowboarding one time, and I couldn't even move an inch, and I had to go back in and switch it for skis. Cause I couldn't, I couldn't move at all. Like it was easier for me having two skis Whoa! than one board. <laughs> Cause I don't know how to position myself to to do it. It's just too difficult for me. You have to go sideways, and then you have to look <laughs> forward. It's just like skateboarding. I have like, oh! I like, I like skiing because I have greater control. I can. I always, thought he was gonna. I can always do the V to stop myself. I don't know how to stop myself on a snowboard. Yeah, I never skateboarded, so... No. He's not. And then, then you have your feet clamped in there, too. Yeah, your feet are clamped in there because it's hard to, you know... Yeah, you can't really... So how much did you go um, snowboarding? Not that much. Did you go for school, or no. you just went for fun? No, no, no. The mountain behind our house, and once or twice I went to Jiminy Peak with a friend. Oh, they, Which was uh, the mountain near... I forget where that mountain see, is. See, if you had gone to middle school in our town, which you didn't, because I think you were in New York or something. I was in New York, yep. If you'd gone to middle school, they took trips, like, every weekend to the ski mountain in uh, in uh, Wisconsin. So that's why I got to go a lot. And it was really discounted, so I was able to go a lot. Oh. Ah. Yeah, because otherwise I wouldn't have really been able to go. And I had so much fun doing that. And my, I didn't, most kids could only go if they had their own skis, because you had to pay for your skis. Yeah. Well, my grandparents, uh, my grandpa was a doctor, so my my grandparents bought me skis. So I didn't have to rent, so I could just bring my own skis. Renting wasn't bad. I mean, the the only thing I don't like. I'm happy about that. You never want to rent ice skates. If you're a skater or something like that, because, I mean... I think they bought me skis. I remember they The helped. movie Just Friends is a good example why yeah. you don't... <laughs> they helped me. Whatever way it was, they made it possible for me to go skiing, so I was really happy about that. All right, new point Yeah, of you don't want to rent somebody else's... Yeah, it's... Well, ice yeah. skates is hard to... <laughs> yeah. yeah, because... Now, of, yeah, if I want to, I can skate all the way across this, but... You, you never... I've never gone ice skating with you, ever. And you used to play hockey. You always said you'd go ice skating with me. In order to keep your points, too, you actually have to stop. Because if you just restart, then you lose all those points. So you see we're close to... Uh, 
level eight. It's pretty cool. Like I said, if you want, you can skate across the ice, but you get no points at all. So it's kind of no point at all. So what we got over here? Oh, this is another spot. So if we want, we can also board off this and we're going to get people to look at us funny. To be like, why, why are you doing this? It's like, why not? Yeah. Because you know it's our I, time, our generation, yo. You know what I'd love to do, K-Wing? I'd love to go, like, um... If we could ever go, like, ice skating... You know, like, in the movie Elf, they ice skate... Ah, uh, you know what, never mind. You know in the movie Elf, they ice skate in front of the, uh... I guess your guy's busy killing him. Is this, is this a Oh. You were still alive after ah. that? Ah. Didn't your head hit the rock? He's not talking anymore. There's something seriously wrong. I don't... He's getting up! <laughs> Zombie! Zombie! <laughs> He's superhuman. Oh, yes. He's... <laughs> Come on, oh my god. <laughs> this is living. Oh my god! This is our place, our time, and our world for the time. I miss this guy. He's great. So if you didn't know what happened to our skater, he ended up uh, having brain damage in uh, the third episode, and he's been replaced by some other skaters. He's out of the hospital. He doesn't remember his name, but, but he, he remembers up, how to board. And he woke up speaking fluent Mandarin Chinese. Yeah, we, we have a translator. That's why you can hear him. Yeah, exactly. No, I don't know. That's actually pretty good. Oh, never mind. Oh, this guy. I thought you meant the other guy. Never mind. No, this guy speaks English. Yeah, the other guy is kind of like... Yeah, uh, he's out of it. He's in... He's in traction right now. Yeah. Broke all his But bones. yeah, I was saying, we should go... Ice, it would be really cool to ice skate at the base of that one Christmas tree in New York City. That mm -hmm. would be really cool. You know, like in the movie Elf, when they skate there? Mm-hmm. That would be awesome. Pretty sure they still let people do that. Kind of a they New York had a tradition. they had a big Christmas tree in Chicago where people could skate. I I'm not sure if I ever skated there before, but I remember we went on a field trip to Chicago. The Christmas tree isn't as big as the one in New York. Nothing's as big as the one in New York. Everything is bigger in New York. <laughs> I don't know why. Even the Washington actually, do they still? They haven't really done the Christmas they tree anymore do, in Washington. Yeah, a lot of Christmas it's kind of stuff a shame. in Washington anymore. But maybe they will. I hope so. Next year or something. Christmas is a wonderful time of year. It's the only time where people are actually civil to one another. It's the year that I look forward to the most. Yeah, I know. I see people smiling and saying Merry Christmas, and it's really nice because, I don't know, it's just like, it gives you a reason to say something nice to somebody. I was surprised that uh, it was either a waitress or a store that we shopped at where they said it. And oh, yeah, Applebee's. Yeah? Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, they said it to us like a few times actually. They were really I was like, nice. Wow, really? It was like, you have the guts to say that? I'm coming back. <laughs> well, actually, in the 40s, everyone had the guts to say oh, that. Of course. In the 40s. Course, course, of course, of course, of course. The greatest generation. Is that what they call themselves? Yeah, that's the book that what's his name wrote about the 40s. Uh, Who? Oh my gosh, that uh, that news anchor. <laughs> He wrote it about his parents, I think. Uh, and they're his parents' generation. Oh my gosh, who was that news anchor with the slightly gray hair and the, you know, chiseled chin that kind of looks like George Clooney? Most of them? No, I can't remember him. Yeah, they all <laughs> they all have to have the chin. They all have gray hair these <laughs> they days. They all have a little bit of gray and they have the chin. Oh man. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. He wrote the book The Greatest Generation. Your rep just keeps going from strength to strength. We just snagged an invite to another Red Bull get together called Cold Rush. You'll be going up against the world's best skiers and the ultimate free ski competition, so Let's go win ourselves some respect and show them what you got. Okay, kind of busy right can, now. Can you believe in the 40s, like, women used to sew all their own clothes? No. It's it's pretty amazing. Like, you'd always get those, like, you, instead of seeing clothes online for sale, there would be patterns online. And they would buy the, you could buy the patterns for only a few cents, sew it at home. Yeah. <laughs> Save so much money for that. You know what I mean? You know how much money women spend on clothes nowadays? 
It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Women in the 40s could, like, cook goose and everything, you know? Sew their own clothes. It's unbelievable. All right. Ooh, but could they snowboard? I don't know if they did much of that. No, that it didn't really exist. Yeah. I'm trying to remember how snowboarding came about. I don't think it was an 80s or 90s thing like it. Like, I mean, I'm sure it came out before that. Point of interest! That tree is a point of interest that we just smacked into. That's good to know. I want to learn how to cook a goose. A goose? Yeah. Isn't that like chicken, though? I could make a Christmas goose. I mean, I don't, it's I don't not, have... It's not chicken. It's just another bird. Could cook. There's all kinds of birds that people cook. Pheasant, duck, goose, whale. Duck, duck, goose. Yep. Turkey! Whoa, where are we? I don't even know where we are. This is new to me. I've never been down here. Some dude's house. Whoa! Is that really a house? It was. Alright, so he's done. Okay. Where are we now? Hmm. That's interesting. So I've unlocked tons of places if I want to, so I guess we'll hit the map. That's beautiful. I like that. All right, so I'm all the way it, down here. It could be a tiny little house down there. It could be. You know what? I mean, I know I'm just thinking random things, but can you believe that Matthew McConaughey, before he got married, even while he was a popular actor, he had his own like little, basically little camper van down by the by the sea or down by the river or <laughs> river or ocean and he had it custom made so he had like everything in his camper he wanted to and he would just live there and and surf every day like he didn't even live in a real house he just lived there because he so like surfing the big one. yeah all right it's so just, we can't go here yet i mean yeah i mean like i don't know i guess i watch a lot of things online i'm like i can't believe that people literally live out of their rvs and stuff what movie did we see matthew mcconaughey in the like couple. Ev everything wait this is switzerland now what's this well have we done this my best no let's do this i don't know red bull gives you wings but he used to want to be an action person, but then he ended up doing, uh... Romance? Romance to, like, pay the bills, but I think he always wanted to do action films. Oh! oh. I, li I think I like Bessie McConaughey. I mean, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, what happens when you do that, if you get hit, it messes up your mojo. Oh! Ah, your mojo! Mojo's gone. Almost got a gold medal though. That was the. Uh... So. So I can't crash at all, or I can crash? Yeah. Mojo, mojo, mojo. Gotta get my mojo. Ho! So yeah, our cats are sleeping right now. That's why it's perfect to do voiceover. Ah! Wee! Oh! Yeah, when you kind of like hit your board as it's like jabbing into the snow at an angle, it's probably not the best. No, it'd be. It'd thing. be good. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to do this one again. So, Kevin, how. how uh... How excited are you for the snow? Very. Alright, so let's do it again. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of movies we're going to watch for Christmas. Hmm, some are faves. Yeah. And in the comments below, let us know what are your favorite Christmas and holiday movies to watch. <laughs> snow Angel! <laughs> yeah, that was a snow angel. Glad you like that. Did that special for you. Thank you. Alright, so we have to remember to get the board off! Ah, oh, wall. Snow Gremlin. <laughs> you have to land that. Stick the landing. Wow, this is an intense. Uh... Yeah, I've never. I've never. Speed down anything like this before. I probably don't want to. No, he didn't land it. He didn't land. Oh, that's yeah. Where, where I was, there were no rocks in the middle of the path, so. Yeah, rocks would be a bad thing. You don't want rocks. It makes things rocky. Uh oh. Already messed up. 
Seven thousand points I mean, is needed. These like, these professional hills are really intense, though. I mean, Wait, this is a professional hill? Well, it kind of looks like it. I don't know. <laughs> Boom! Almost. You're still alive. I mean, I remember watching the professional like um, skiing and snowboarding like races downhill, mm -hmm. and seeing the people in the Olympics do it and. It's amazing that the kind of courses they are on, like even the professionals, if they hit a bump or they slam into like the side, mm -hmm. like they get really, it's it's almost like they either win the race or they get really, really hurt and sometimes they have to just, they can't even continue. It's just no, like... No, no, God, no! So yeah, I mean like this can be a really dangerous sport. If you, Dang it. Like as you can see from this guy. Yeah, this this guy's not having a very good day. <sighs> Gotta hit the jump. Go! <laughs> this is a, the last dumb thing that we're doing, so people can just bear with my failure because he's not he's not having a fun day right now. You're gonna yeah! You're nailed it. Nailed it. Oh my gosh! It's fine. <laughs> Learn and live, then get loves. Possibly depends. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom! Okay, that's lame. That's gonna give you no points. At all. What? Hit me! You made it. Snow Road. Snow Road's not gonna help us. Now I gotta trick like crazy. Alright, here we go. Next checkpoint. And... Skadoosh! That's not... That's bad. Maybe, yeah, having your hand on it while you're landing might not be the best. Whoa! Not enough. Oh my gosh. Only 2,000 points. Do it again. Whoa. Gotta get 7,000 points. You're getting really intense on this gaming. Because I have to get the points, yo! I don't understand. You just want to make it down the hill alive? No, Whoa. I do not! Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah! <laughs> More or less pulled that off. Ow. Or not. They're not going to give me any points, the are they? Ringing. No points. He doesn't get any points for that. Because he didn't stick the landing, you bum. Do it again. Yes, mothers can weep watching this. If you're his mother, then you should be weeping because he's performing terribly. Under pressure. And because his face might be messed up now. That's nice. how we do that. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Stick the landing, bud. Stick the landing. You got this. Sweet! Caroline! Nope. Caroline hates you. You had to take your hand off. I know I had to take my hand off. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Aren't those white, those trees that are frosted in white so pretty? Hmm. Stick it. I feel so bad for him. He's fine. He can, up. He can do it. Whoa. Okay. How many points did he get that time? 4,000. One more. He has to get 7,000? That's impossible. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Cold god. Gold standard. I just don't even know if I can watch this. This is impossible. When you say it's impossible, it becomes impossible. Okay, you can do it! You gotta be encouraging. Don't die! Oh my gosh! You can do it! Don't die! Oh my gosh! <sighs> Still not good enough yet. Two thousand points for that. All right, so we just have to. Maybe the twirling around thing helps. Ah. Oh my gosh! Plus seventeen hundred. You have five thousand five hundred and sixty points. Ah! Oh, man, I don't even know how you did that. Oh well, that's good enough. 
Anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode of Steep. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join us next time as we go to another mountain and do incredible, incredible, bit of crazy things. John Broca. Bah. That's the guy. Yeah, whatever. God bless it every gaming. See ya.